Hello everyone, I am Sir Kenneth ng STEM Teacher PH and I am here to introduce you sa basic concepts ng series. Umpisahan natin ang ating discussion with basic terms. We have sequence, ito ay list of things usually numbers in a specific order. Sa sequence, kadalasan naka-enumerate lang yung numbers and they follow a specific pattern. Kapag series naman yung pinag-uusapan natin, it represents the sum. So, kinukuha natin yung sum, ina-add natin yung terms given our sequence. Now, let us start here. Let us list the first six terms of the sequence. A sub n is equal to 2n plus 1. Tignan muna natin kung ano yung magiging itsura ng sequence para mas maging familiar tayo sa kanya. Kapag tinignan natin yung ating given, meron tayong n na subscript tsaka yung nandito. Ito yung number of terms given a sequence. Tapos etong a sub n, ito yung nth term given our sequence. Halimbawa, ang given natin ay a sub 4. Ibig sabihin, this is our fourth term given our sequence. Kapag given naman tayo ng a sub 10, this is our tenth term ng ating sequence. Kaya yung a sub n natin ay magbabago depende kung pang ilang term ang hinahanap natin given a sequence. Ngayon, ang pinapahanap sa ating problem ay yung unang anim na terms. Kaya let's start with our first term, a sub 1. This is just equal to, ito yung formula na gagamitin natin. Dahil unang term ang hinahanap natin, our n, this is just equal to 1. So we have 2 times 1 plus 1. Kapag nagmultiply tayo, 2 times 1, this is just 2 plus 1. Our first term is equal to 3. Then punta tayo sa ating pangalawang term, we have our a sub 2, this is equal to, gagamitin pa rin natin yung ating formula for our nth term. In this case, ang kailangan natin ay yung pangalawa. So we substitute 2 dito sa n natin. So we have 2 times 2 plus 1, and this is just equal to 5. Then tuloy natin for our third term, kunin natin yung ating a sub 3, this is just equal to, applying the same formula, we have 2, times n is 3 plus 1, 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1, this is 7. Then, for our fourth term, a sub 4 is equal to 2. Ang n naman natin is 4, so this is 2 times 4 plus 1, which is equal to 9. Then, yung pang lima natin na term, so this is equal to 2, n is 5 plus 1, this is equal to 11. And then, yung pang anim, we have our a sub 6, this is equal to 2 times 6, plus 1, this is equal to 13. Ngayon, nakuha na natin yung unang anim na term ng ating sequence na 2n plus 1. We have 3, una, 5, second, 7 ang pangatlo, 9 ang pangapat, 11 ang panglima, at 13 yung panganim na term natin. Now, we have the first 6 terms of the sequence, a sub n is equal to 2n plus 1 as our answer here. Ngayon, familiar na tayo kung paano kuhanin yung terms ng isang sequence given the general formula for the nth term. Now, let us proceed with our second part ng ating discussion. Baliktad naman yung ating gagawin. We have to determine the general formula of the nth term given our sequence. Ngayon, meron tayong sequence na 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, and so on. Ngayon, nahanapin naman natin yung formula for our nth term a sub n. Kapag ganito yung problem, para mas madali yung analysis, isulat ko muna dito that ito yung ating nth term. Ito yung a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4, and a sub 5. Tapos, ilagay natin yung ating n. This is our first term, 4. Tapos yung 8, this is our second term. Ang pangatlo natin ay 12. Pang-apat ay 16. Ang pang-lima ay 20, and so on. Ngayon, para makuha natin yung a sub n in terms of our n, Isipin natin yung relationship na meron dun sa ating n, yung bilang ng terms natin, papunta dun sa a sub n natin. Yung n natin na 1, para makarating tayo sa 4, pwede nating sabihin na nag-add tayo ng 3 or nag-multiply tayo by 4. Since una pa lang yun, hindi pa tayo firm, kailangan nating tignan yung susunod na terms para malaman natin yung relationship ng n natin papunta sa ating a sub n. Then dito naman sa 2 natin, papunta kay 8, kung mag add lang tayo ng 3, 5 lang dapat ang sagot pero naging 8 siya. So we can see na kapag nag-multiply tayo ng 4 kay n, makakarating tayo sa a sub n natin na 
Same here, yung 3 natin, pag nag-multiply tayo ng 4, makakarating tayo sa 12, and then yung 4 times 4 is 16, 5 times 4 is 20. Kaya ang ginagawa lang natin, kinukuha natin yung n, yung bilang ng terms natin, tapos minumultiply natin siya by 4 para makuha yung a sub n. Kaya with that, we can say that our nth term, a sub n, is just equal to 4 times n. And this is the general formula ng ating sequence. Kaya importante na makuha yung general formula kasi kapag kukuha na tayo ng malayong term given our sequence, halimbawa kukunin natin yung 35th term, pwede natin gamitin yung formula natin na 4 times n, ang n lang naman natin dito is 35. Kaya our 35th term is just equal to 4 times 35 and that is just equal to 140. Kaya ang pang 35 na term natin given our sequence is just equal to 140. So this is how we use our general formula for our nth term ng isang sequence. Now let us proceed dun sa ating pangalawa. Medyo challenging lang siya ng konti. Our a sub n, ang terms natin is 1, 8, 27, 64, 125, and so on. So let us write our n. Ang unang term natin is 1. Ang pangalawa ay 8. Pangatlo ay 27. Pangapat ay 64. Panglima ay 125. Kung titignan natin yung difference ng terms natin, ito ay 7, ito naman ay 19, so magkaiba na agad sa unang dalawang terms. Kaya masasabi natin na hindi lang tayo basta-basta nag -aad. Let us try multiplication. So yung 1 natin na n, bago tayo makarating kay 1, nagmultiply lang tayo by 1, kaso nga lang yung 2, kapag nagmultiply tayo ng 1, hindi na siya sasakto dun sa ating second term which is 8. Kaya hindi lang basta multiplication yung ginagawa natin. But as we can observe, yung 1 natin, Kapag minultiply natin siya by itself ng tatlong beses, we have 1 times 1 times 1, makakapunta tayo dito sa first term natin na 1. Yung 2 naman natin, kapag minultiply natin siya by itself ng tatlong beses, 2 times 2 times 2, then makakarating tayo kay 8. Then yung 3, if we multiply it 3 times by itself, 3 times 3 is 9 times 3, we have 27. Same here, 4 raised to 3 multiplied by itself 3 times is 64. And then 5 raised to 3, makakarating tayo sa 125. Kaya with that observation, our nth term, given our sequence, is just equal to, kukunin lang natin yung n, kung pang ilang term siya, tapos imumultiply natin siya by itself 3 times, so we have n raised to 3. Now we have the general formula of our sequence. Pagdating sa ganitong type ng problems, wala talagang isang solution kung paano siya gawin. Kailangan nyo lang talagang i-observe yung behavior ng numbers kung paano siya nagbabago from one term to another at titignan nyo rin yung relationship ng number of terms ng n papunta sa ating a sub n or yung n term. Kaya ito yung paraan kung paano tayo makakarating sa general formula ng n term ng isang sequence. Now let us proceed sa main discussion ng ating series. Ang gagawin natin is we have to solve for the sum of the terms in the sequence. Kasi kung maaalala natin from our definition kanina, Ang series natin, it represents the sum of a sequence. Kaya kung kukunin natin yung sum ng sequence natin na 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, so this is finite, matatapos na tayo kay 8, hindi siya tumutuloy. Ito yung terms ng ating sequence, a sub n. Tapos kung titignan natin yung bilang ng ating terms, ang 4 ang ating una, 5 is our second term, 6 is our third term, 7 is our fourth term, 8 is our fifth term. Ang pinapakuha lang naman ay yung sum ng terms ng sequence natin. Kaya simply, iya-add lang natin etong 4, 5, 6, 7, at 8. Pero kapag sinulat natin to on a formal solution, ang sum ng isang sequence can be represented as capital S sub N, and this is just equal to, kukunin natin yung ating unang term, plus second term, plus third term, plus tuloy lang tayo hanggang makarating tayo dun sa last term ng ating sequence. Sa example natin, given lang naman tayo ng limang terms. So we are getting the sum of our 5 terms. Kaya ito ay S of 5. This is just equal to, ang first term natin ay 4, ang pangalawa ay 5, ang pangatlo ay 6, ang pangapat ay 7, ang huli natin ay 8. So as we get their sum, this is just equal to, 4 plus 5, this is 9, plus 6, this is 15, plus 7, that is 22, plus 8, this is 30. Kaya ang sum ng limang terms natin, this is just equal to 30. This is our answer. Madali lang naman kapag given na yung terms ng sequence natin pero para sa ating pangalawang example, we still have to get yung terms ng ating sequence. 
Our general formula, a sub n is equal to n squared plus 2, 4. Ang n natin ay nasa pag-itan ng 1 at 3. Pwede nating itanong, sir, anong ibig sabihin itong notation na to? Ibig sabihin yung number of terms na concern natin, since we have less than or equal to, kasama yung 1 at 3, kaya yung number of terms n natin is just between, pinagigitnaan siya ng 1 hanggang 3, so this is just equal to 1, 2, and then 3. Sa madaling salita, kukunin lang natin yung sum ng unang tatlong terms ng sequence natin na n squared plus 2. So with that said, kunin muna natin yung ating first term. We have our a sub 1, this is equal to, yung n natin, this is just equal to 1, kaya isasubstitute lang natin siya dito. So we have 1 squared plus 2. And this is equal to 1 squared is just 1, plus 2 that is equal to 3. Then second term, a sub 2, this is equal to, ang n natin is 2 and then squared plus 2. 2 squared is 4 plus 2 that is 6. And then for our third term, a sub 3, this is equal to 3 squared plus 2. Ang 3 squared ay 9 plus 2, we have our 11. Then para makuha natin yung sum ng tatlong terms natin, a sub 3, this is equal to, kunin lang natin yung ating unang term, a sub 1 plus a sub 2 plus a sub 3. And this is just equal to, ang una natin, we have 3, ang pangalawa ay 6, ang pangatlo ay 11. Then i-add lang natin sila, we have our 3 plus 6 plus 11. 3 plus 6 is just 9 plus 11. We have our sum ng ating tatlong terms as equal to 20. Then for our last example, we have a sub n is equal to 4n minus 1. For 2 is less than or equal n is less than or equal to 5. Same, meron pa rin tayong sequence dito. Kaso nga lang, yung number of terms na concerned natin ay mula dun sa pangalawa hanggang sa panglima. Ibig sabihin, hindi natin isasama, ia-add yung unang term ng sequence natin. Kaya ang unang kukuhanin natin ay yung pangalawang term a sub 2. So this is just equal to, we have 4n minus 1, ipapalit lang natin yung n natin na 2 dito sa n. So we have 4 times 2 minus 1, 4 times 2 is 8 minus 1 is 7. The next third term, a sub 3, this is equal to 4, ang n is 3 minus 1, 4 times 3 is 12 minus 1, we have 11. Then, yung pang-apat na term natin, a sub 4, this is equal to 4, times 4 is 16, minus 1, this is equal to 15. And then, lastly, yung ating pang-limang term, kasi kung titignan natin yung pinapakuha, yung n natin ay mula 2 hanggang 5 lang. So, we have 4, ang n natin is 5, minus 1, 4 times 5 is 20, minus 1, that is 19. Then to get the sum, ilalagay ko na lang is mula sa ating second term papunta sa ating panglimang term. This is equal to, pangalawa natin na a sub 2 plus a sub 3 plus a sub 4 and lastly plus a sub 5. Then substitute lang natin yung values natin na na-compute. This is equal to a sub 2 is 7 plus a sub 3 is 11 plus a sub 4 is 15, a sub 5 is 19. Kaya we have the sum ng ating second hanggang pang limang term, this is equal to 7 plus 11, this is 18 plus 15, that is 33. 33 plus 19, that is just equal to 52. So we have the sum of our terms, this is our final answer. For this video, we were able to recall some basic concepts of sequence and also nakuha natin yung sum nila as an introduction natin pagdating sa series. Hello everyone, I am Sir Kenneth of STEM Teacher PH. Kung nakatulong sa'yo itong video na to, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell para updated kayo sa ating uploads. Bye!